Hi, I'm McKenna Green, along with my dad, Justin Green. We're here on our farm, Heritage Family Farms. Welcome to Frontier Fields. So we farm corn and soybeans here in East Central Illinois. We primarily farm in Drummer Flanagan soil, so it's really, I guess, Flat black is how a lot of people would describe it. A lot of products and things that work in other areas maybe don't work as strongly here because we really do have a lot that is given to us naturally in the soil. And so I really enjoy trying to figure out how we can increase our, our yield. Hey guys, Brian Herbeck here, one of the new growers here at Frontier Fields. Fifth generation farmer here in South Central Nebraska. We farm about 2,000, 2,100 acres uh, just me and the wife, uh, which can be a daunting task at times. Caleb Walters, my brother, Dirk and I farm together. It's Walters Farm from Belmont, Wisconsin. So we grow corn and soybeans, uh, all dry land. Um, we try to, you know, look at these opportunities to try new things because it seems like there's always new stuff coming out, new stuff to try. And I don't know how else you, you know, figure out what works without taking opportunities to do these trials. I'm Austin Blair, we live in Lake City, Iowa. Welcome to Blair Family Farms. So here at our farm, we have corn and soybeans mainly, and then we also have livestock, and I farm with my dad and my brother. So our soil types, we're a silty clay loam, we're a heavier soil. We don't have any irrigation here. Usually we get enough rainfall. Besides the last few years, it's been pretty dry, and we are right now too. I am Mark Kaiser at Kaiser Family Farms in Carrollton, Missouri, 60 miles east of Kansas City. On our operation, we have corn and soybeans rotation. We do have seven center pivots covering 160 acres uh, approximately each. We do have good soil, deep soil. It can be anywhere from what we call gumbo, which is high mag soils, to sandy soils. A lot of our nutrients, especially nitrogen, uh, tend to be um, an issue of keeping them in our in our soil. So that's one reason I want to get into looking at some biologicals and to see if we, you know, keeping that biological activity and helping with that nitrogen management uh, in our soils. Harmon Wiltz here with H&G Farms, LLC in Kirkhoven, Minnesota. With me is my son-in-law, Luke Sanders. Um, our farm operation, we grow uh, corn, soybeans, and sugar beets, and a little bit of alfalfa, and uh, just a small little beef herd as well. One of the things I'm excited about the uh, trials with Mosaic is We've uh, really been working on a lot of soil health. We moved into uh, strip tillage in 2019 and kind of worked our way to almost 100%, focusing on fertilizer and high yield crops. But the next step really is the biologicals. What can they do for our farm? We kind of feel like that's the next step to put some good focus on and do some trials and do some work. So I'm excited about seeing what will the biologicals do uh, for our farming operation, for crops and for our soil health. There's really three things that we, we factor when we're looking at implementing a new practice or a new product on our farm. It needs to make sense in increased yield. It also needs to make logistical sense, so it needs to be easy to use and easy to implement. And then the, probably the biggest one is it needs to make economical sense. And so we need to be able to make sure that we're being smart with our finances, especially moving into these next few years where farms are gonna see a decrease in, in income and margin. One of the things we usually struggle with is root development and early season tissue numbers. And we felt like the biopath and the biological side of it, that really helped us last year. Uh, we've been struggling, you know, with getting some of these micronutrients into the plant, some early pea levels, and you know, it seemed like you could put those nutrients on and and they just wouldn't ever actually get up into the plant and show up on the tissue test. We're really looking to see those products, you know, can they help make other nutrients more available to our crop? Can they just make the environment in the soil better for the crop and just make the crop healthier and have better natural defenses to things like diseases and pests and just have a better balance within the crop so that it can really protect itself and be stressed less. So what excites me about doing a trial with Mosaic Bioscience is the past years we've done several with them and we've seen a very good return on it and we're liking what we see so far. So we're hoping with the biologicals is to make the nutrients we already have out in the field like behind us here more available. There's plenty of nutrients out in our fields. It's 
to get them into the plant and make them available. And biologicals can do that for us. On our farm, we do a lot of uh, soil testing and uh, nutrient management planning. Along with that, um, we like looking at uh, various types, the, the structures, the chemistry, and the biologicals of our soil. Not only are we looking for results in year one, but we're also looking to see what this does uh, to our soils going forward with our organic matter, our nitrogen release, and overall just nitrogen management plans and how this may impact that. Uh, so pretty much kind of what we're gonna do this year is we'll pull in the field uh, with our side dress machine and go around the field twice. And then we'll um, start on the straight end and work our way till our machine um, is empty of 28%. And then we'll put in uh, the 28% with Biopath and we will do about 20 acres, I think, that way. And then we'll jump to the other side of the field and do 20 acres and we'll fill the gap in with straight 28%. And so we'll have a really nice trial of two different reps in the field. And we can do the direct side by side with the combine in the fall to measure exact yield data. And then we have the whole field too to look at to see, hey, in the map is something jumping out. So that's typically kind of how we run our trials and what we'll, I think we'll be doing this year with the Biopath. Biopath, I think, uh, is a unique product because I think that there is, there's a play that can help eliminate uh, plant stress. And so Biopath will help um, better utilize the fertilizer we already have uh, been put down. Uh, looking forward to seeing how Biopath will perform in 2025 and the stressors, conditions, and fertilizer programs that we've already implemented. You know, we know we've kind of we've kind of hit a plateau with with our yields. Uh, we're looking to go to that next step, and we know that biologicals play a huge part in that. We're excited to get more of this on the farm. We're excited to see where it's gonna gonna lead. See where it's gonna take us this year. So in 2025, with the way commodity prices are, we're trying to you know see what we can do with less really and uh, try and be as efficient as possible, try and get our crop to be as balanced as possible. And then, you know, that just makes us more efficient all the way around. Going into 2025, we got our plan mapped out on what we're gonna do for the year with the fertility and then going forward with uh, keeping the plant healthy with fungicides and uh, to protect it, to hopefully uh, have a good price to sell when we uh, come to harvest and we have a good yield. I'm participating in this trial, one, to see uh, on my own farm, what does this uh, biological do uh, within our soils and within our uh, bionome? And two, I guess, is to just run, run the test for other people. Is it, uh, is it something that uh, other people should, uh, should try? And, and also to give people an idea of what we're, what we're looking at on our farm and what we're looking at in our environments. And this is uh, the field that we're going to do the biopass study in, going to corn, uh, following sugar beets to see uh, what benefits we can get from a sugar beet crop going into corn uh, using a biological. So we wanted to see, hey, is there something that we could get out of uh, the sugar beet rotation going into corn to add some value around uh, you know, the additional P and K and micronutrients and even some nitrogen that we could make more available for the corn crop. Yield-wise, this has been one of our top fields. Uh, we consistently kind of in that 220 to 240 range, depending on the season, depending on the year. Hoping that we can kind of uh, um, exceed those numbers and that Biopath can help us uh, become a little more, uh, have the fertility a little more readily available and a little better plant health and roots and uh, try to get up over the 250 mark. It's kind of our goal at this point. So it's time for me to go for today. Uh, here, get these things fed behind me. Uh, thank you guys for watching today. Probably see you again at planting season. Good luck in the 2025 growing season. I'm excited to see what this season holds for us. Make sure to like and subscribe to Mosaic Advanced Crop Nutrition on YouTube. Thanks and stay tuned for future episodes.